Hello everybody and welcome back to our 1.19 let's play. This is episode 12 I believe and we are going to get into some exciting things. Also this house is bothering me. There's not enough lighting outside. Something like this and this perhaps. Eh. It's kind of boring but I don't know what else to do. You guys let me know what else should we do because this this whole wall here feels just a little bit plain to me. You know what else might be cute? one right there. Yeah, I like that a lot. That dresses it up a little bit. Oh yeah, I forgot we had an iron golem on the roof. Hello, dude. All right, so what is our plan for today? Well, first and foremost, we are going to get our gunpowder operation set up. And if we have time, maybe we'll do a sugarcane farm, but I don't know about that one. However, definitely the gunpowder, and I would like to do some work around our village here. Namely, I want to get a road in. Now, um, I still don't know what blocks to use, so we're going to do some experimenting and find out what will look best. We had a lot of suggestions in the comments last time, and I liked a lot of them. However, I think we definitely need to go with mostly like gray, you know, neutral stone variants because... I really want to use a lot of bricks in the village builds and granite and things, even though that's probably what I would go with um, if I wasn't building with it. But that would be too samey, I think. So I will not be using a lot of stone and stone bricks in these builds. So I think that's probably our best road choice. I'm already regretting how close the village is, though. Like I wish this was pushed back a block or so. It's not the end of the world and we can widen out the other streets but it does feel just a little bit tight for a road but we can uh i think we can take out some of these bushes that's part of the problem anyway so that's what we're going to get to today and i think we should probably start with the gunpowder farm because that's going to be the most difficult thing to do now i'm going to be doing this like a standard creeper farm which they're not terribly difficult to build However, uh, it does it does cost a lot of materials. So, what do we have for stone? Oh, we we don't we don't have stone. Well, that's a problem. I wanted to use stone, but oh, it appears that I have not gone mining in a while. Well, it appears that a mining session is in order to get some stone. Definitely think the stone is... Oh, this is an ugly wall. Hmm, should we do something about this or does it not matter? You guys tell me. If it doesn't matter, I'm just going to leave it. Because it would be kind of a pain to change. But it's also kind of ugly. But it is just a mine. So, I don't know. Alright. Stone mining, here we are. Oh, you know what? I brought five torches. Hang on. There we go, that's better. Way more torches now. We'll see how much we can get from this short mining session. Well, on the whole, I'd say that that was a rather successful 20 minutes or so. Look what we've got. That's pretty good. So one thing we are going to need for this farm is going to be fish. Well, no, that's not true. It's actually going to be cats, which we need fish to breed. So I am going to make a fishing rod because I have six fish you can see here. So that gets us a few cats. But I think we should spend just a little bit of time fishing. Actually, do I have any... I might have found a book. No. Okay, that's fine. We can fish with a regular fishing rod. And wouldn't hurt to make a cat baby. Cool. Come kitten. How can I... Ugh. Can you separate? Thank you. Oh, I did not mean to give you a torch. Cool. Okay, one baby down. This is actually a great opportunity to use our dock, which is starting to look kind of sad and plain. So we may need to upgrade this eventually. Yeah, I mean, look how cute our area is. And then you walk down here and our dock is just kind of blah. We should make it wrap around this area a little bit more. I think that would be cute. But we can just fish right off the edge of it for right now. The 
Before we start building the gunpowder farm, I definitely want to work on these streets. I mean, there's not much of them to do yet, but it'll just help this area feel more complete. And I think it'll also inspire me for ideas for other buildings, just seeing how the area is going to look all completed. So we're going to go ahead and get to that, but I think I want to use gravel as texture, which means I really need to get a new shovel because the one I've been working with currently, you can see it has fortune on it, which means if I do anything with gravel, it's just going to turn it all to flint. So let's see if we can get a good enchant on, excuse me, on our shovel. I should have a silk touch villager. I'm pretty sure I got that last time. So as long as we can get unbreaking, on this and efficiency then we should be good in fact i'll be really sad if we get more fortune but we have two tries should be able to get efficiency ah perfect first try can't argue with that can you silk touch for one emerald villagers really are the best okay so we just need to find ourselves an anvil and we can put this right on our shovel and we should have a pretty perfect shovel. I think I have a mending book in there too that we can also put on it. Okay, combine the books first and then the shovel. I think this is the way you want to do it, right? Yeah, has to be this way. Cool. You guys should give me ideas for names for my tools because none of them have any names right now and they're kind of sad. All right, um, you can go in there, fortune shovel with all the other rejected tools. <laughs> well, the fortune three picks not rejected, but, oh wait, I need to go inside and we can gather together some materials. So I want some gravel and some stone brick and mossy stone brick. And actually, I don't think I have any ready smelted, but maybe we should try, oh, I do have a little bit. We should try to do something with smooth stone. And I think I left my stone cutter over yonder, but I don't know. I really like the way smooth stone looks and I've not really had much of an opportunity to use it because it is a little bit of a modern looking block. And well, as you can tell, we don't do a lot of modern builds. However, I do really love smooth stone. I have a little bit over here as well. Nice. Okay, so I think we'll just start taking this out and see. Oh, hello, cave. Oh, there's a creeper. Not cool. I really totally forgot there was a cave down here. Clearly, it needs to be lit up, though. We'll just... Oh, my, there is... Oh, that would be bad to get knocked down there by that skeleton. We can just fill that in, and it'll be fine. Nobody will even know it's there. Okay. Go back to our roads. I think it might be in our best interest to take these out. We'll see. Hang on. We'll put in the center first. And then I'm just going to make it lead up to only about here because, well, we don't really know where the rest of the village is going, do we? Alrighty. We have a lot of blocks to work with. I think I will just spam in the stone bricks first and then texture that later because I think that'll be the easiest, at least for my thought process, rather than texturing as we go. So I was thinking we could use this smooth stone as a border for the road. That does require taking out some bushes, but does this look good or does it... <laughs> Can't decide because then at the same... We would definitely want to switch these blocks for something else. I don't know. I'm not sure that it really fits the vibe of the area. I did want to do a border block though. Hang on, let's make a couple more of these in. We'll see how they look on this side. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't feel very villagey to me. No, this is definitely not the look. I mean, I'm sure it would look better if it was more finished off, but no. You guys can have your doorstep back. 
Okay, um, I definitely do like this as a street, though. It does feel more polished and finished. The landscaping needs some work, especially on these hills here, though. Right, so this is what I have for the path. It kind of fizzles out here because I wasn't sure what to do. Maybe we make this more rounded and put, like, a park bench there or something. That might be cute. But we can leave it for now. And coming down through here, I do think it looks pretty good. I tried to keep the smooth stone and things towards the middle. Like, I imagined it would be this is how the path was worn out. So these blocks here are more worn. It was originally all brick. And I also try to keep the mossy bricks to the sides, especially near the plants, because that kind of makes it feel like that's where moss and grass and plants are starting to grow up between the bricks. And that kind of makes sense to me, so I like that. And then this would be where the main path kind of meets it. Again, not thrilled with this transition, but until we have the rest of this area finished, I don't really know how the rest of the area is going to be, so we can definitely tweak this as time goes on. And I'm thinking we may need to get a new path block design for the rest of our area because until now, I was perfectly happy with what we were doing with the path blocks and the spruce slabs and occasional tough and coarse dirt. But to be honest, I really dislike this now. I think it's boring and kind of cluttered. So I don't know. You guys let me know what sort of path we should do for here. Maybe we should just, whoops, go with coarse dirt because that's the simplest thing. And I definitely want to stick with the more neutral. I don't want to have a like paved road there. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think we should do there. As far as landscaping for this corner, I don't think I'm going to do much. Probably honestly just fill it with some flowers and plants and leave it at that because I don't think it needs to be more than that. The nice thing about dark oak saplings is if you just plant one, they just look like little bushes and they won't grow. So I think it's pretty cute. In fact, maybe we just completely cover this with lilacs. I think that would be actually quite pretty. I'm not sure what my favorite too tall flower is. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite too tall flower is because I think... Well, I go between the roses and the lilacs because they're both very, very pretty. We can definitely get some farming done here while we're at this. So you may have noticed that this episode feels a little bit scattered. And there actually is a reason for that. And it may have ended up shorter. I'm not sure how much footage I'm going to get to record, but it probably will be a little bit on the short side. And the reason is because I wasn't even intending on recording a single player episode today. I was going to record another Lotus episode and actually I had half recorded it and well we had some technical difficulties and basically um well we couldn't use the footage from it. So I decided that we should just have a relaxed time over here in our single player world because it's a lot less stressful over here. Not that I don't love playing on the Lotus SMP but Definitely is a little bit frustrating sometimes to get things done because it takes a lot longer when the lag is as bad as it is for me. So if I want to get an episode out quickly, single player is definitely the way to go for me. But I'm actually kind of sad because I was doing some very exciting things over there. But don't worry, I will still show them to you guys, but probably just in the next episode. Honestly, it's probably a good thing because a lot of the projects that I was working on over there were things that I had ideas for and I was motivated to work on, but I really didn't have them totally fleshed out yet. So this way, I think the designs of everything will turn out to be a lot better. So honestly, it was probably a blessing in disguise. Uh, does it bother anybody that I don't use my paths very often? I keep cutting across the country. Okay, okay, we got the fishies, we've got two more kitties, so that should be enough for four layers. I'm gonna be honest, I don't entirely know if I have enough blocks for that, but that's fine. We're not going so far away that I can't come back for extra materials if we need it. Um... Woo, how did my boat get out here? Okay, so I think we're just going to literally head straight out from here until we can't see our base anymore and build it there, because... This thing's gonna be ugly and I have zero ideas on how to make it pretty. I don't wanna build any boats or ships or anything like that. So we're gonna put it out in the ocean and we're gonna leave it ugly. Hopefully that's not too disappointing to anybody, but uh, that's what we're gonna do. 
Oh, well, I guess land wasn't as far away as I thought it was, but that's maybe fine. I don't know. Wow. Whoa, wait a second. Guys, look. Look at this. We can see both of our house and the other land. For some reason, I thought that this ocean was way wider than it was. Okay, this should be good enough. We can't seem to see our house from here. In fact, how many blocks do we have to go before it loads in? All right, it's just starting to load in. Okay, so right about here looks like it's going to be a perfect place. You know, to be perfectly honest now, guys, I'm not even sure that building this out in the ocean was my best idea or not. We're gonna pretend that it actually makes a lot of sense and we can just uh, build it up, I suppose. So the tutorial that I am following is by Chapman Farms, I believe is the name of the channel. So I will link the tutorial down below that I'm following. Um, it's actually a fairly simple design and it works really well. It's going to use cats to scare the creepers into the killing mechanism here, which I haven't put in place yet, but it will be there. This is half of the farm, at least one layer of it. There will be trap doors here as well, like, like so. And the other half, and I think we have enough cats to go up for four layers. But like I said, I don't have any ideas for how to make this look pretty. So if you guys have any ideas for me of things that we can do, definitely let me know in the comments because, well, I don't think it is absolutely important that every build you do be this super pretty, amazing build that you can't even tell is a farm or anything. But I definitely appreciate when my builds are pretty. So if you guys have any ideas, I would be happy to hear them. But with that said, let's go ahead and finish the rest of this build. she's done. So it's actually very easy to build. I've built this one other time before. However, this time I made a couple of changes and I'm not sure if that was a good idea or a bad idea. Let me tell you guys, that inventory that we had of stone, that was not nearly enough. I had to stop and go back to our base. Well, I think I went back three times. Once was for materials because I had to go back and mine more out. Can you believe it? And then I also had to go and grab the cats. So, there is our four layers, but I honestly, whoopsie daisies, I honestly did not mind the time it took because I just sat back and chilled and listened to my current favorite soundtrack, which is the uh, Sight and Sound soundtrack for their David play, which if you have not seen that, guys, it is 100% worth the sea they do such a fantastic job with all of their sets and their actors and guys there's like live animals running everywhere they're galloping horses down the aisles there's sheep running everywhere it was amazing but um down here let me show you the little changes that i made and this is just in the killing uh, mechanism i decided to try and use soul fires because the original design i think he used magma blocks and here's the thing i haven't watched that tutorial in probably three or four months so i could be misremembering but they use magma blocks and I am also adding the tinted glass. I will do an hours AFK session up top. Uh, never mind, change of plans. There are no spawns yet and I'm pretty sure it's because my brilliant idea of soul fires is casting light. All right, all right, I think I fixed it. So this is why I don't, um, I sh really should not improvise on farms, guys. Well, you can see a few, so let's give this an hour and see what comes out. Right, well, let's see after another hour. Oh, that was even worse. What? 
So after giving it some thought, I decided to go ahead and light up some of the caves down below because that was what we needed to improve our spawn rates. So I jumped onto replay mod to see what was down there and there was a massive mine shaft down below. So we went down to light it up. And let me tell you guys, this thing took forever. Also, I died once to three baby zombies, which was less than ideal. And after another hour's AFK, oh yeah, much better. Just from lighting up that mine shaft. Okay, there was two stacks. Well, just under two stacks. So roughly this. So... I would call this a success. To be honest, I probably won't light up anything else because I don't need any more, um, that there. I don't need any more gunpowder than that. And you guys saw just how big that mineshaft was. It, it was huge. I'm pretty sure, though, that it was multiple mineshafts, probably two, maybe three. I don't know how that works. But it definitely seemed like it was multiple mineshafts that generated on each other because there was a lot of pockets where the mineshaft was, like, blocked off completely from other things and i use a replay mod to tunnel and find the other sections and the loot that we got was fantastic look we found an enchanted golden apple and then we also got a music disc which is pretty cool and then just a random assortment of other things but anyway guys that is where we are going to leave it for this episode again let me know if you can think of any ideas for what this could be um I was thinking maybe we could turn it into like a castle ruin. Like say that this area had been flooded since the castle was built. And so it's just a ruin now. That might be cool, but I don't know. But anyway, guys, we'll leave it here for the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we will catch you all in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.